So I'm here with Warren of the National Justice Party. Warren, you were speaking to the police earlier. They're kind of buzzing all around here. What, uh, where do you think they stand on the whole anti-white attack that just happened? I think the officers here, uh, we have to remember that this was less than a week ago. And what happened downtown there was a horrific scene like none of us can even imagine. And these officers were all there dealing with, dealing with the aftermath of it. So the sense I got from them is that what we expected when we came in, that the emotions are still very raw, very fresh. They were extremely clear about the fact that they are not going to try to interfere with any First Amendment protected activities. And that we have a right to be here uh, and to, to be heard. Um, and they just basically respectfully asked that we, that we uh, show some sensitivity to feelings of the town. And I told them that that's what we're doing, that's why we're here in front of the county courthouse, and why we're not in the downtown where this horrific attack occurred less than a week ago. Uh, I had a friend who had to drive through there and he said it was just full of memorials, flowers. I mean, people's children are still in the hospital, people, funerals this week. Um, this town is it's very raw. We are here for a message to the powerful, to the, to the district attorney, to the uh, and particularly the police chief, who said in his investigation that they couldn't find any motive or any ideology, and we know that that is patently false. And it's not just, it was uh, Stryker with national-justice.com broke the story, but then multiple other outlets, including now a number of UK papers, have talked about it, that this guy had uh, a BLM radical ideology. And this is only, I mean, I, I didn't realize how close this town is to... Uh, Kenosha. It's it's right here. I mean, yeah, it's just yeah. on the other side of Milwaukee. Under a half an hour. Or something. Under a half an hour. Yeah. So so a few days after the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. I mean, yeah, it's just outrageous. I got this. You know, obviously the police are they were very businesslike and they're not going to give away too much. But I got the sense from these guys that they are uh, sympathetic with our point of view. That this is this attack is being covered.